Hello, thank you for watching our introduction to iCommunicate video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to take you through um, communicating with iCommunicate and how you can access it. Um, we're going to be using a, a Windows PC, but um, similar techniques can be used on an iPad or on a Linux PC or a Mac to uh, to communicate with it. And it's all done through the, the browser, as you'll, you'll see. Um, so I've got my iCommunicate hooked up to my home office uh, Ethernet network using the uh, RJ45 network connection on the front. Uh, it doesn't need any special cabling or anything, just a normal network cable straight from there into the wireless router. And then what you can do in Windows is you can open Windows Explorer and go to network and there you go. You see I communicate listed as a device on the network. Now you do need to have network um, discovery turned on um, but Windows will prompt you if you click on network and you haven't got discovery turned on it will it will ask you if you want to turn that on um, and then once you see I communicate you can right click on it get the properties um, shows you the IP address um, now I communicate is set up to automatically get an IP address from the router that it connects to um, and as I'll show you in a minute you can also set it up to have a static IP address if you know what you're doing. Um, so let's double click on on that icon and then it should open up Google Chrome and take us straight to the home page of the iCommunicate. Um, now this web page is being created by the gateway itself not by some internet web server somewhere on the internet so basically it will always come up with this page even if you're out in the middle of the ocean and you've got no internet connection uh, it's just a web page that the actual gateway is creating now once you've brought up that home page I'm going to do separate videos on on the other apps that are on here and also the document um, uh, viewer that we've got on here so um, today I'm just going to concentrate on the on setting it up so when you use it for the first time you'll go to the admin page and the admin uh, is, is password protected because we don't want anyone just being able to go in there um, admittedly the default password is just admin so it's quite straightforward but um, you can change that uh, as I'll show you in a minute so we'll log in and the first thing you see is the firmware version. Always good to keep a check on the the firmware version because, you know, uh, I communicate it's a brand new product. Uh, we've got lots of exciting plans of features we want want to add. It's, um, you know, I'm sure we're going to come have some problems and some bugs that we we'll want to fix. There's uh, the Signal K um, open data format, which is at the heart of what I communicate does. That. Signal K um, data format is, is also changing and evolving, so there's going to be you know regular updates to iCommunicate. Um, so you you can check what version of firmware you're running, and then you can go to the admin. And um, here you can, if the iCommunicate is on a network that's connected to the internet, then you can just click this button, and it will automatically go out and check to see if there's any updates available, and it will download them automatically very quick simple process um, if however you don't have internet connection you can download the updates the firmware updates from our iCommunicate.com website and then um, from the browser here you can select the um, file to upload and you can upload it um, straight into the iCommunicate again it's it's not quite as easy as, as downloading it from the internet but it's 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 pretty straightforward um, so that's firmware updating. Um, also we mentioned the admin password, this is where you can change that. You just type it in here and then you type it in again to confirm and then click apply changes. Um, actually setting the unit up is, is fairly straightforward. All you need to do is, is uh, we recommend you, you enter the, the vessel name here and if you've got an MS, MMSI number then you enter that in, in here. Um, I communicate is just the name that comes up on on the the network um, when you look for for devices, um, so that can stay as I communicate. Um, the it's by default it's designed to use DHCP to automatically get an IP address. Um, if you wanted to set an I, a static IP address, you just untick that and enter the details in here. Uh, if you know what you're doing, um, coming down. Um, this is like for diagnostics so you can enable a syslog it's called and that will actually log all the system um, errors and messages to a to a file uh, this is quite an important 
bit so um, by default these are both disabled um, but you can if you've got um, an existing app or navigation software and there's lots and lots of them out there that you that can support NMEA data over UDP or TTP then uh, I communicate um, can also send out data in that format so there's you know apps like um, iNavX, iSailor will read this this data um, uh, also for navigation software like Rosepoint, uh, Nobletech, MaxC, OpenCPN they will all read UDP or TCP data so you know straight out of the box I communicate will work with those apps um, and then as more signal K apps become available obviously it will also work with those as well so um, in this section we've got the three NMEA 183 ports you can change the the board rate for each of the ports independently it will also to show you there what sentences are coming in on each port which is quite useful when you're setting everything up um, and then you just click apply changes here um, once you've uh, made all the settings you want to to set finally on the uh, web interface you've got the devices tab now this is I mean I've just got a few devices here of simple network but this is where it lists all the NMEA 2000 devices that are on the the network that I communicate is connected to um, so we've got an AIS unit here and we've also got a couple of gateways that we're using to, to pump simulated data into the into the NMEA 2000 network um, so that's really it as far as the um, configuration and, and administration of, of iCommunicate is concerned. Um, like I say, I'm going to do other videos on the on the hosted apps that we that come with iCommunicate. Um, but hopefully, this this video has given you some useful information as to how to set up iCommunicate. Um, and thanks very much for listening.